Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Noriko Brett, brand new style, in the color Raspberry Ice R. Brett is a really darling short, 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 but nice and full on top wig. If you wanna know more about this, Machine made basic cat piece, then stick around and I'll tell you all about her. You guys, this color, I cannot wait to tell you more about this color, which we'll get to toward the end. I do put timestamps in the description box so that you can skip ahead to whatever it is that you want to see. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me Brett so I could show Brett to all of you guys. I just love showing you guys all different kinds of styles, all different colors. It is so fun to be able to have a chance to try on different things. This is a really cute wig, but definitely short. So for those of you looking for a little more length in the front, you can tell this one doesn't have it. If you have not been to namebrandwigs.com yet, I highly recommend you go check them out. They are a great retailer, wonderful customer service. I am very, very proud to be representing them in this video. Let's take a look at this one from all sides. You know, I really appreciate it when wig manufacturers on short wigs put a little bit of a longer nape. You see these long pieces right here? Those are so helpful to cover a low hairline. They're very easy to trim up, especially if you have a little bit of a, a razor comb doodad that I show in tons and tons of my videos. I will put a link in the description to what I'm talking about, but it can make trimming just little bits here and there so much easier than using a straight scissors if you're not great at cutting hair. And so if I were to trim the nape on this one, that's what I would do. I'd just razor off a little bit of it. But so many women have a low hairline in the back and want to wear wigs with short napes but just struggle with that, especially on the side here where sometimes there can be a little bit of an indent. So they did a really good job of leaving a little bit of length at the nape. I think it will work for a lot of people. Now this piece is a machine made cap, also known as a basic cap style. And so this one has no frills, no cap features, which is going to keep the price down a bit. And Noriko fibers are so fantastic. They are workhorse fibers and they feel so good. So I think if you were to invest in this piece for your wig wardrobe, this is gonna last you a very long time, even if you wear it every single day. I think you're going to really get your money's worth out of this one. This does have permatees. There is a fair amount of permatease up here. Can you kind of see how it's rounded up here? It's because of the permatease. Now, a lot of women actually want volume at the top. So they'll spend time with a round brush and a hair dryer, you know, round brushing it and trying to get some volume, putting product in. That's one of the beautiful things about wigs is that you can do some of those things without putting undue stress on your own bio hair. So this has permatease up here. I would basically say this cap has permatease everywhere except for right here, <laughs> right at the nape. Otherwise you've got permatease and it's a fair amount. It's not the most permatease I've ever seen in a wig, but it's definitely got poofy pillowy permatease all throughout. So if you wanted to kind of amp up that volume a little bit, I think you could. I think especially if you're willing to use product like John Renault Peace Out Cream or some sort of a styling cream, I really think that you could get this PC. You could really mess this up and make it really PC. And so the front here, the bangs are just a little bit too long for me, which is why I swept them over to the side, which is the case almost on almost all wigs with bangs because I only am three inches between here and here. And that's, you know, fairly short. So I would say... If you want to wear this with a full bang and it's a little bit too long for you, it's super easy to trim up. Again, that little razor comb doodad that I was talking about would help you tons with that. And I actually have a video showing that, so I'll make sure to link those in the description. But when I do this, I have a mirror over here. When I mess it up and I pull it to the front, 
Oh my gosh, that is such a fun look. It sort of reminds me of uh, China Phillips from the band Wilson Phillips back in the day. <laughs> um, she had this the be a beautiful cut that was bangs and sort of, it wasn't quite this full, but I used to just, I was so envious of her hair because first of all, I, I had such thin hair even as a kid that I couldn't do anything like that, but I just never had the face to pull that off and it's such a cute style. So if you're looking for something that you can play with, that you can mess up, you can do a lot with this one, surprisingly. Look at how cute that is. I just think it's a really darling style. Let's take a look at this cap. So you've got your basic cap, ear tabs with quite a bit of hair sewn in for coverage, no extended nape, bra strap adjusters. Basic, that's why, you know, it's. T I think the technical name for it is machine made, but I think that's why we call it a basic cap because it's really kind of basic. While I have the cap off, let's uh, actually, let me think here. Did I cover everything? I was going to start talking about color because I like to show the color with the cap off a little bit, but let me verify to myself that I covered everything. Sometimes when I get chatty about styles, I forget things. If you want to tuck this one, you absolutely can tuck it. The only thing really I think that's lacking is because this doesn't have a lace front or anything, you really can't get this off your face. So if you, you know, if this is too long for you and it's not staying side swept, your only option really is to trim up those bangs a little bit, but you can tuck it. And even though it has that permatease, you can smooth this out. It's still going to have just a little bit of volume over here, but look at that. Look at that. Really flexible in what you can do with this style. I'll, I'll pull out some styling accessories and show you a couple of styles in just a minute. Let's talk about this color. Raspberry Ice. I just want you to look. Look at those highlights. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, deep red with copper. You've got really deep red here. And then you've got these coppery blonde. Look at that. It's just stunning. I absolutely love how they did that. It's so unique. All of those highlights are in the front. You really don't see any of that highlight back here. And it does get just a little bit darker at the nape. Can you see that contrast right there? So you've got a darker nape. It's I would say that's probably an eight brunette. And you can see the red above it. It is such a unique style. So who would this be for? If you're looking for a deep burgundy red, but you want a little pop of something, you want something really unique, this color with this right here. Here's the thing, you guys. I don't wear... I don't wear wigs like this very often. If I'm going to wear a short wig, I like it to have a lace front because I like to sort of lift it up off the front and kind of make it a little messy on the top but with the bangs off the front. But I am so, so tempted because this is so darling and because this color is so stunning. And it is so stunning on this wig. I honestly think this color was made for this style because of how these pops of light how they work so well with the layering on this. It is just spectacular. All right, you guys, we're going to get outside, but I'm going to do a little bit of styling so that I don't have to cut and um, hop back in after the outside look. So hang tight for the outside look, but if you just wanted the color, the timestamp is in the description. Let's talk about a couple of styles we can do. First of all, I love doing clips with short wigs. I think it really changes it up. And you know, I grew up, I'm, so I'm a child of the eighties. Technically I was born in 1971. Um, I'm very open about my age. I'm very proud to be 50 years old. And, um, but in the nineties, when I was in my twenties, the big style were these kind of shorter cuts where you would take the bangs and you would clip them to the side. I just still kind of gravitate toward that with shorter wigs. So let's take a look at this. So I just have a very big bobby pin that has pearls on it. Let me try to get this in here. This bobby pin, I did it, I practiced with it so I know this will work, but this bobby pin is so big and so long. And as I do this, I'm pulling my own hair. <laughs> 
There we go. All right. So you could find yourself any kind of a blingy clip and sort of clip to the side. You could even start a little bit higher if you want to get some of these bangs in there. But that could be super fun if you wanted to then sort of tuck this side and just sort of put a fun blingy clip in it. That could be a really, really fun thing to do. And I'm always looking for something to do with this because it is so giant. It just came in a, a box full of different hair accessories. Another really awesome thing you can do is throw a headband on. And then if you wanted to kind of mess it up on the top. But what that does is it sort of breaks up the, the style and, and gives it just a bit of a different flair. And then you could do any type of a headband. I mean, I brought a ton of headbands down with me just to show some different options. I have all of these headbands linked in my Amazon store, which I have in the description, because I kind of love headbands, and especially these kind. I think they're so, I mean, look at how quick and easy they are to put on. They don't squeeze my head. They work perfectly with wigs. They are not tight at all, and they stay put all the time. They, they don't move at all. So I really think there's some really cute styling you can do with this one. So. If you kind of like short styles, if you're curious about short styles, you can do permatease. You really have to be able to do short permatease with this one. And you want to play, think about Noriko Brett. I think this one is going to be a workhorse. I think it's going to last a long time. Noriko fibers already last a long time. Then when you get a short style like this, it's just going to go and go. It's not rubbing on anything, so you're not getting any of the friction damage. I really think you'll get your money's worth out of this one. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thanks once again, Name Brand Wigs, for sending me this piece. I'm so grateful to you guys that I have the opportunity to make these videos for all my wig sisters, so I appreciate you guys so much. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Let's get outside. All right, we are outside so you can see this gorgeous color outside. It's really overcast, but I think this is popping right now. You can really see those highlights. You know what I forgot to mention? There's no visible permatease on this. They did a fantastic job uh, sewing these hair fibers in. Sometimes with these basic cap wigs, you can get a little bit of visible permatease at the top. You really don't with this one. It's fun, so fun. All right, that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. One last close-up. Okay, have a great day. Okay, friends, here is the out-of-the-box that I did for Instagram. One minute to see what it looked like out-of-the-box. Now, styles like this tend to look really good out-of-the-box, and there, this is really no exception. So it looked great out of the box. I didn't do anything to it. You'll see that here in a second when I get through the cap. So if you're curious, I think you're safe to purchase one from a place where that has a good return policy because it's not likely to have too much bad box hair. So you'll be able to tell. Look at my reaction, you guys. I was blown away. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is darling. It's not for everybody. Poofy, full of permatees. But some people are going to absolutely love this. So just know yourself. And if you're new to wigs, I always say purchase from a store that has a great return policy. Reach out to me if you want to know a few. And start learning. Thanks for watching, you guys.